How do we measure satisfaction of portrait photos for our DxO Mark qualitative studies? Our experts designed a homogeneous and comparable methodology to help identify user preferences and pain points in smartphone portrait photography around the world. We start by taking photos of 80 participants in a variety of scenes with a selection of smartphones and one DSLR camera edited by professional photographers. Once this phase is complete, the same participants return to annotate the photos of themselves. This survey phase is composed of three distinct parts. So how does the survey work? There is a blind comparison where participants choose between two photos of the same scene taken with different cameras. As more participants select the same photo, the photo's score increases. This process repeats for each different device and then continues on to the next scenes. In addition, participants are shown a series of photos of the same scene and asked which photos they do not like. This process repeats and helps us to refine our preference analysis by understanding what photos participants consider not acceptable. Participants also select specific responses to why they don't like certain photos. Once the survey portion is completed, our technicians begin the data analysis using the information gathered. Each photo is given a score based on a mathematical formula that calculates the survey responses. The resulting score is scaled to fit within a range of 0 to 100 and helps indicate the cutoff for an acceptable photo. Those metrics are then compared per device, considering satisfaction respectively by groups such as skin tone, gender, and age. These results give actionable guidelines to smartphone camera manufacturers and production teams for tuning and product definition. Through these insights, DxO Mark is contributing to the advancement of camera performance and helping improve overall user experience.